since it's definitely not our first rodeo, you already probably know what we're going to be doing. And yes, you guessed it correctly. We're going to do our setup where we do all the installs, we get the packages and la 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 la. So you already know what I'm going to do. And in this case, let's again, as always, start by navigating to the desktop. But I do want to let you know, of course, you can create your applications wherever you like. In my case, it does make way more sense to work in the desktop because I think at least you see a little bit clearer what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to be in my desktop. What I'm going to be doing next? Well, we're going to create, create, react app, and I'm going to say recipes, or I can say recipe application or whatever. It doesn't really matter again. I'm just going to say recipes app, something like this. This is going to be my project. And while again, the create react is going to be getting all the dependencies, why don't we go over the general guidelines of what's going to be happening? Like I said, we will going to use the react router. So that's going to be the package we're going to have to install. That's why it's important. So you don't skip away from this video, because you are going to have to come back again, if you don't know uh, what is the dependency name and all that. We will going to use food to four KPI to get our recipes, and I'm going to cover that literally in a second. And then also we're going to use the lifecycle methods for our Ajax request, something we haven't talked about in the tutorials, because I think it's just going to make way more sense if we actually see the example in front of us as we're working in a project. And last but not least, we will going to use the async await, which is the latest and greatest way of actually doing those requests. Meaning you technically could just do it with normal fetch API and all that, but you'll see why this is going to be a little bit clearer where we can write our code synchronously. And that would be the basic setup. Also, I'm going to talk about the setup files because for this particular project, I would definitely suggest getting the setup files. And I'm going to speak about that more in 30 seconds. And that is not because of the images. Mostly this is because of these two data files. And the reason for that is very simple. Like I said, we will going to use our food to fork recipe API, which is really, really cool. And I would suggest right away to sign up for it. Again, they're not going to charge your credit card. They're not going to send you annoying emails. Only thing you need is the email address, and then you can log in. However, their issue is that the free account that they give you gives you only 50 calls a day, which unfortunately, as we're working is very, very, very small amount of number because you're going to run out of it. So what I did is I set up the data where we have like a fake data that we're going to be getting from them eventually, but we can build our whole project and only at the end we can start using the API because otherwise you're going to get annoyed really quickly where you start working on an application and then I don't know, within two components, you run out of your calls. Uh, as I was working with this application, I believe I signed up with like four email accounts or something like that. And yes, before you say anything, I know I could have paid for it, but I just decided to see how this would be happening without paying for their API. And yeah, so I was kind of switching back and forth. I was working on it. Then I switched to another email when I ran off the calls and so on and so forth. And that would be the basic setup of what we're going to be doing. And also, like I said already before, React Router, I will going to cover obviously both of these in much more detail throughout the project. So if you want to go ahead and just look at it, you can do that. But I will going to talk about it obviously throughout the project. Okay, so what else we have? So that would be the setup. Again, I would strongly suggest using the setup. And now before we start running the application, before we run our dev server, let me maybe zoom in a little bit more. And now we're going to head over to our application. So let's say recipes app. That's going to be my app. And within the app, let's right away again install two things that we're going to be using. So the first one is going to be npm install. And by the way, I'm going to write them separately just so you don't get confused. And the first one is going to be bootstrap, which we already have covered since we already have used it in a previous project. So let's say bootstrap. That's going to be my first dependency. And the moment this is going to be installed, we're also going to install the React router. However, for the React router, the name of the actual package is React router DOM. 
if you want to see how this is gonna work, you can see that we have the react router. That's gonna be something you're looking for. This is gonna be the information. However, if we're just looking for their package, we need to look for Dom and then let's say NPM. And then you'll see that this is gonna be the package name of React Router Dom. That's the reason why I wanted to write this separately. Let me clear the console and let's again install npm install dash dash save. And we're gonna be looking for React Router and Dom. That's the package name. These are the two important packages that you do need to install. And the moment the actual NPM is going to be done installing everything, then I'm going to set up my application where I'm going to obviously open this up in the code editor. And let me clear it. Let's say code dash. So this is going to open up in my Visual Studio Code successfully. Then also, I would like to right away set up my small browser window since we were going to be doing quite a bit of work. And I would like you to see that side by side, as well as we can right away set it up our uh, actual integrated terminal. So let's write in PM start. That's going to kick the dev server into gear. Let's set them side by side. And here we're going to be looking for it. Yes, yes, I think that's allowed. Uh, we're going to be working with our dev server. This is going to be looking nice. And then obviously this is going to be our final project. And for now, I'm going to leave a bunch of these open since, like I said, we will going to be switching back and forth where I'm going to show you where you can get the actual information if you're looking for it. Because again, the actual info about the package, the React router package is going to be with React training because those are the guys who are creating this application. However, the actual name is React router DOM, not just React router. Then I do have successfully my application. So why don't we start step by step working on all our setup? 